What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and continue learning about some of the most surprising things about Norway. Part two. If you haven't seen part one, feel free to go check that out first, or stay here in part two. That's perfectly fine. But in part one, I started learning about some really surprising things about life in Norway, uh, like how there's countless Teslas everywhere, electric cars everywhere, um, and, and you have different bed covers, different duvets, uh, I think, and, and apparently in Norway, even the taboo around nudity is very different. It's much more open-minded in Norway, which is really cool to hear about, actually. So today, I'm very interested in learning some more surprising things about Norway and how life is different in Norway compared to here in the United States. So, let's take a look. Next thing is, in Norway, it's not very normal to have a microwave. This was a complete shock for me. I was... <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I don't know why. This is shocking me more than anything in part one. What? What do you mean? What do you mean you don't have a microwave? What do you mean? <laughs> How do you survive? How do you, what, how? No, <laughs> no, 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 I can never go to Norway. No, no, no microwave, no. <laughs> this is very interesting to me. Here in America, everyone, has a microwave in their apartment or in their home or whatever, everybody owns a microwave. We have so many foods that require a microwave. A microwave is probably the one of the most popular appliances in all of America. I can't imagine not having one. What do you mean you don't have? Most Norwegians don't have a microwave. How do you how do you heat up stuff? How do you heat up old food? Leftovers. How do why what? How? <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. I realized it very soon because we rented an apartment here when we moved to Oslo and there was no uh, microwave included in the kitchen, which I thought it was weird, but you know, it was a very cheap rental, so Yeah, like even if you rent if you rent a place in America, it will come with a microwave a lot of the time. You don't even have to buy one. It's just included. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Is there, I'm trying to guess or understand why this is. Do Norwegians just not have as much food that requires a microwave? I, I, I don't know. I don't. I thought yeah, it's a small apartment. They didn't put a microwave, but I, you know, started to realize that most people do not have a microwave. I don't know why. If you're Norwegian and you're watching this and you know why, write it down in the comment below, because... She doesn't know why. She doesn't know why? Oh, no. Okay, I gotta... I gotta go down to her comments. I gotta... I have to know the answer to this. Hold on. Let's scroll down to her comments for a second. I'm Norwegian. I was surprised to hear about microwaves. I don't think I've ever been a ha in, a, in a house that doesn't have it. But if you rent, you really have to have your own. Oh, so is this not true? Oh, okay. I don't know anyone that doesn't have one. I'm Norwegian and neither me, me or my parents have ever owned a microwave. So some of the Norwegians here are saying that you do have microwaves. You do, okay, who, okay. You do have microwaves. The, this Norwegian here says she didn't. 
I think most Norwegian families have one microwave. It's not so common in student housing and cheap rental apartments. I have never seen an apartment without a microwave. Okay. Most people I know have one. Okay. All I know own a micro. Okay, okay, okay. It sounds like this is not really true. <laughs> okay. Which makes a lot of sense to me. I was like, okay. That makes a lot more sense to me. I was thinking like, wait a minute. Norwegians don't have microwaves. Why? Like, why would you? It sounds like you do. Okay. <laughs> Maybe compared to America, Norway has less microwaves. Maybe you don't have them always in apartments or student housing or college or I don't know. But uh, you do have them. Okay. I have no idea, but they do not use it. And I basically have to start living, getting used to the fact that I don't have a microwave to heat up water. What do you mean? Why don't you? <laughs> if she wants a microwave, why doesn't she just buy one? <laughs> Even if Norwegians didn't use microwaves, couldn't you just buy one? Heat up milk, melt butter, heat up like leftovers of food from the day before. Now I have to heat up. I have heard that Americans, that were one of the only people who use microwaves to heat up water. And most other countries like boil water or have a kettle, an electric water heater. Um, I don't know. But in America, we like to microwave our water a lot. <laughs> Everything in a pan or sometimes in the oven. Now I am very used to it and I don't miss a microwave so much, but at the beginning it was a bit strange. And even when I have friends coming hmm. over from an, a different country or even my family, they all ask like, oh, where is your microwave? <laughs> like, no, no microwaves in Norway. <laughs> and okay. Maybe Norwegians out there can cl clear this up once and for all. Are there microwaves in Norway? Are they common? That would be great to know. <laughs> Another thing that for me, it wasn't a very big surprise, but a lot of people ask me this in the comments. So I guess it's, it's like a big question for a lot of you. Um, is that everyone here speaks English, fluent English, very good English, at least in Oslo. I've traveled a bit in Right, this is such a good one. Funny enough, for me personally, um, I am aware that a lot of Norwegians speak English. You probably wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't understand English, because I only speak in English. Um, this is one of the coolest things about Norway, for me, as an American. Learning that Nor Norway is bilingual, such a big percent of the Norwegian population is fluent in English. Incredible. That's incredible. Um, most Americans don't know this. I think a lot of Americans would actually be more likely to travel to Norway for vacation and traveling if uh, if more Americans actually knew that Norway is very, very, very a uh, good place for English speakers to go to. Um, of course, the native language is Norwegian, and you want to respect the Norwegian culture, but... If you speak English, you can get around in Norway. Like, it is a very friendly country for English speakers. That that was shocking to me when I first learned about that. That is one of the coolest things to me. Yeah, absolutely. In Norway, and I had no problem. I also think people speak really good English, but you never know. Most... I don't know if it's uh, shocking for Norwegians out there, like, that us Americans are almost never bilingual. Most Americans speak one language, English, and nothing else. Does that surprise Norwegians out there? Um, I think it's kind of sad now that I understand that there's countries out there that are bilingual. You're taught from a very young age. 
I think as Americans, we should, we sh it should be compulsory, it should be mandatory to learn another language. It's such a huge benefit. It's so good for you. Um, I understand English is probably the most spoken language in the world. So that's beneficial for us, of course. But uh, I don't know. Is it surprising that for, for Norwegians, it's just normal to speak multiple languages? Is it kind of shocking that we don't even bother? Norwegians have a British accent, which I think it's so cool. What? Wait, what? 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 Norwegians have a British what did you, what is this? Well, speak really good English, but you never know. Most Norwegians have a British accent, which I think it's so cool. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. This is this video continues to shock and surprise me. Um, I don't know what to believe anymore. Most Norwegians have a British accent. Like when you speak English, you sound British? What? It surprised me in a way that children and older people speak very good English as well. The last thing... What? We're just... That's it? That's all she has to say. That's all she has to say is that Norwegians have a... A lot of Norwegians have a British English accent. Like, hello there, how's it going? <laughs> like that? What? Why would that be? Is that, what? Is, is that true? I don't know. I don't know if Norwegians, I don't know if you can even tell what kind of English accent you have. Um, I would think most Norwegians sound like Scandinavian English accent. Like, hello, how's it going there? How's it going there, everybody? How, like that kind of thing? Um... But British accent, I, I don't know what to believe. To finish is, I'm going to talk about mops. Yep, mop, like the thing you use to clean your floor in your house. A mop? A mop. Okay. <laughs> You're telling me that mops are different in uh, Norway? Um, and I know this is weird, but in Portugal, the type of mop we use is like a stick, right? But then at the end, it's like a, a group of strings all together like this, and then you clean the floor, and then you have a bucket with... Yes. Yes. This is the same in America. A mop. A mop is a mop. I... You're telling me there's a Norwegian mop? Like a different type of mop? <laughs> a basket inside and you put the mop in there and you like turn it so all the water goes out of it and then you clean again. Uh -huh. So this is the mop, I was used to it. And yeah. when I moved to Norway, I realized that what they use here is, it's like a long rectangular fabric. It goes into a metal structure that's stuck to the stick and you clean it kind of like horizontally, you know, more like flat. So that's what I use now in- What? What? Hold on, wait a minute. Norwegian mop. Oh my gosh, it's true. <laughs> huh? This is the type of mop that Norwegians use? I mean... I think I've seen this kind of mop before. Um, oh, hold on, let me make this bigger. Let me make this picture a little bit bigger here. So this, this is the standard mop in Norway, huh? <laughs> I've seen mops like this. Sometimes you see janitors or cleaning people in America with this style of mop. This is not the default style of mop. This is not the most popular mop. That's incredibly random. <laughs> that, that is extremely random. Norwegians prefer the flat mop. Okay, I don't know what to think about that. Norway, and I had never seen this before in <laughs> Portugal. I have no idea if it exists. I'm sure it exists, but I don't think it's so normal to use. And here, it's very normal, and it's what I use now. Interesting. 
yeah, it's not, it's not that normal in America. It's not like I've never seen it before. It's just not that normal. I just thought that was interesting to know. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so these were all the things, well, not all the things, half of the things. Uh, that okay. And with that, that is a lot of surprising things about Norway. Um, <laughs> this was really fun for me. This is a great video, by the way. This was by Mona Me. I got to give it a like. That was a really fun video that she made with her observations about Norwegian culture and how it's different and surprising, and it really is. Um, there's just so many little things about Norway that are different. It's really fun to learn about. Uh, this was kind of crazy. The microwaves, <laughs> I don't even know if that's true. The British accents, the mops. This was, it. This was fun for me. Uh, I enjoyed this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on these surprising things about Norway. If these are true or if they need any more explaining, that'd be fantastic to hear about. Uh, and if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and learning about Norwegian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.